The verdict is guilty in the murder trial of former Northwestern University professor Wyndham Latham. He's just been convicted of helping an accomplice brutally kill his boyfriend four years ago. WGN's Jewel Hillary is live outside the Cook County Criminal Courts building with the latest. Jewel. Hi, good evening, you all. It took the jury about 90 minutes to unanimously come up with a guilty verdict, finding Wyndham Latham guilty of the murder of Trenton Cornell. Now, during this trial, jurors had an opportunity to hear testimony from attorneys who shared that Andrew Warren flew from Britain to meet Wyndham Latham in Chicago in July of 2017. The day after Warren's arrival, he, along with Latham and Cornell, were high on meth at Latham's condo. While at the condo, Prosecutors say Cornell was stabbed 79 times. Latham claims he hid in the bathroom while Warren stabbed Cornell. Now, prosecutors assert that Latham was the mastermind behind Cornell's murder. They also argued that a wound on Latham's hand proves Latham held the knife used to kill the 26 year old. Additionally, in their attempt to prove Latham's guilt, they reminded the jury of a video Latham shared with his parents where he stated, quote, I took that all away when I killed him. The defense claimed Warren told Latham, quote, let's kill Trent. In Latham's defense, one of his attorneys argued Latham's innocence, in part because he claims Latham didn't try to hide a blood-covered knife, which the defense states didn't show evidence of Latham's fingerprints. There was an extensive evidentiary uh, record and some rulings as in every trial both sides disagree with, but uh, we think there are some uh, meaty issues that we're going to ask the judge to reconsider. Now, as you just heard, the defense is filing a motion for a new trial. Uh, that hearing is expected to take place on November 4th. As it relates to Andrew Warren, he has already pled guilty and been sentenced in connection to Cornell's murder. Reporting live from 26th in California, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Thank you, Jewel.